Hello everyone, welcome to another video in our WebSocket with Spring Boot tutorial series. Some of you have uh, asked me how we can send some messages but only to a specific user. And uh, I haven't talked about that, so I decided to make some video to explain you guys how you can do it. And don't worry, it's actually quite simple. So um, let's just get straight into it. I currently have the application running. So whatever we did in the previous two videos is currently just there. And I have opened uh, the localhost 8080 in two browser windows. Um, I have one window in my Chrome uh, where I opened it and also have a, an incognito window um, in um, again in Chrome, but you can also use a different browser to stimulate this. Basically what I want to show is I want to simulate two users being logged in. So I have one user here and I have one user here. And as you can see, if I send, for example, this hello to message with our current state, every user gets this message. What we want to implement now is the possibility to send the message only to a single user. So I want to say, for example, from somewhere, I want to send a message only to this user here, or I want to send a message only to this user here. So in this video, we are going to be uh, implementing that. We are going to see how we can uh, yeah, get it to work. Okay, so let's just start. Um, if we go back to our IntelliJ and uh, take a look at the files, what we have here, you can see that I don't have currently any new changes. Everything is the same as you should have it. The first thing that we want to do is we want to implement so-called um, user handshake handler. So this will be uh, used by us to identify our user. Keep in mind that we don't have any um, complex application here. So there is no way for our user to, to authenticate himself. We don't have a database. We don't have created users. We don't have things like that. So what we are going to do in this uh, handshake handler, we're going to just uh, give this user some random ID. It doesn't really matter. So every time you log in uh, or every time you refresh your page, you will get a different ID, but that doesn't really matter for us here. I just want to uh, demonstrate you how you can send a message to a specific user. So let's just create this. Um, I will going to cre I'm going to create a, a new file, so a Java class, uh, and it will be called user handshake handler. And here in this uh, file, we are going to um, assign a random ID to our user. So let me implement it, and then I will explain you what we are exactly doing there. So here it is, here's our class. As you can see, it extends this default handshake handler. So this is something that we are going to be applying to our config later on. But for now, um, you can see that we are overriding this determine user method uh, where we create, um, uh, let me just make this final. So where we create a random ID, which is going to be used to identify our user. And we are returning this user principle with the random ID that we just created. So it's actually quite simple. Um, let me copy this and let's go to our uh, WebSocket config. So in our WebSocket config, we have this register stomp endpoints method. Here we have our registry and we add some endpoints that we are using. And here, before we uh, go with SockJS, we can say set handshake handler and we're going to set our handshake handler, the user handshake handler that we just created. So basically what uh, should happen now, we can actually start our application. So what should happen now is every time we open up our localhost 8080, we should be able to see a message with a user ID. Um, so let's go to Chrome. Let me refresh the page, go back to IntelliJ and you can see a message here, user with ID, blah, blah, open the page. So this is how we find out um, the ID of the user that currently did it. So if I would do this in, um, in Chrome, so in the incognito window I have, uh, we got a different ID. So every time it's a different uh, different user, different ID basically. Uh, many times I would refresh this, you would get different IDs here. So the user ID would change every time you refresh a page. Okay, perfect. So we have handled uh, two important things. We have created our uh, handshake handler and we have applied it to the config. Now we, what, we want, what we want to do is close this and go to our uh, WebSocket controller, 
actually it's not um, not this one we want to go to the message control first and here we have our way of sending messages so basically this is like sending global messages this is how we do it uh, let's copy paste this here and uh, let's change this bit get uh, let's name it get private message um, so get private message we have our uh, message mapping maybe we can uh, name it private private message and the topic is private messages now other important thing is instead of at send to we want to use at send to user so we want to change this annotation so this is going to be sent only to a specific user and not to everybody and also with the message we are going to have our principle great now we have our message we have our principle and we want to uh, basically change this message a bit and uh, let's say um, let me put this here maybe something like sending private message to user blah blah Uh, let me just format this a bit better so sending private message to user and here we are going to provide our username so principal uh, get name so from the principal object we get our username or which will be our ID so the one the random ones that we create and here we just append it and the rest of the message which is whatever we send uh, from our front end so whatever we type in there that's it actually Quite simple so nothing complicated um, here so the back end is basically done um, we have everything that we need for now we're going to extend uh, something else later on but uh, let's not rush into it let's go to our front end so let's go to the script JS um, here what we have is basically subscriptions um, to different topics so what we want to do is we want to in the connect method we want to copy the subscription to the global topic and um, let me just uh, format this a bit better um, we want to subscribe to the topic that we just created so to this one so we can copy it from here uh, paste it here so topic private messages but important thing is user before slash topic because this is a user topic it has this slash user and the rest can actually stay the same so we don't have to change anything here um, that would be it now for our send message method we have um, sending of the global message which goes to this vs message endpoint which is basically this one but we also want to have a way to send a private message so let's go um, copy this and send a private message sending private message and we can copy the endpoint from here so for this one we don't have to append anything it's private message how we created it again the content and everything else is the same we don't have to change anything here and uh, we have to update our HTML so let's see where our um, we have this one button which is ID send and this will send the message but let's um, uh, yeah let's copy this entire row and use this ID private message let's name it like that so we're just going to have uh, a private message here label for private message let's name it private message send send private and let's name this send yeah something like that it doesn't really have to be fancy at all um that's about it and the message will be uh, shown here so let's uh, restart our application and see how let's see. yeah let's see how it looks like hopefully um it does work and we did not forget anything so let's go here refresh so that we get our new content and yeah, the styling is not that nice but we can make it better uh, and um, i just removed our incognito window and here we have our incognito so let's um yeah let's send the private message here sending a private message 
and it does not work for some reason. Let's see why. So user topic private messages and that seems fine. We have destination, we are going to subscribing to it, but it's not sent. Did we? Yeah, we didn't hook up the, the send method. So um, if we go to the script, uh, show message, send message, send message, that's here. And this is what we're missing. Send, um, it's called send private. And we want to send the private message on it and not the send message. And let me just forward this. Let's restart our application and hopefully now it works a bit better. Again, we go to our Chrome, we refresh it. Then we go here, we refresh this one and now we send a private message. As you can see, this user got the private message. This one did it. Let's send the global one. Uh, some message. Yeah, graphics are horrible, whatever. Um, but as you can see, the global message was received. So both users got the message, but um, the private one was only received to this user. Now, uh, let's try to send a private message here. And you can see that we also get that. Perfect, it seems to work. Um, the only thing that we seem to be missing is the actual message. So we have signed private message to user, blah, blah, but there is no message appended. So let's see what could be wrong there. Uh, message get message content. So we do get it, but it seemed like we don't get the message content for some reason. Hmm, and what might be? So let's just debug it. Let's put an endpoint uh, breakpoint here and let's send a private message and we have hit the, the breakpoint and the message content is empty interesting why would that be okay i'm not sure we're going to have to figure that out for ourselves so um, we go here and let's see what we are sending message content is the content of the message which is wrong because we want the content of the private message so so we are saying uh, we were just taking it from the wrong field so let's uh, restart the application and see again uh, if this works let's refresh it and um, let's send a private message and we have hit our endpoint and we have some content perfect as you can probably already notice this application that we have so far is not that good i mean the private messages that we are sending they are being sent from us to us so basically you're sending yourself a message which is not kind of cool what uh, we would like to implement now is a possibility to send a message from some source like for example from our postman which is just a, a rest client so from here to one of the users that's logged in. So let's take a look at how we can do that. If you remember in our controller that we had, uh, or that we still have, we have this uh, send message endpoint. Basically this will just send a global message to all of users. Let's um, copy this and create another method here. Uh, let's call it send, uh, yeah, let's send private message. Send private message, again, change the endpoint. Um, send private message here we have in the body we have the message itself what we want to add now is the path variable so we want to add an ID so a user ID and here it is so the path variable string uh, which is the ID but the path variable basically means that you can add it to the endpoint like this so our endpoint plus the ID and that will come to the send private message now, as you can see in the service, we have the notify frontend method. Middle mouse click uh, allows me to jump to it, by the way. And here uh, we want to also duplicate this and name it uh, notify user, maybe. And we'll provide final uh, string ID. So we have our user ID and the message. And here we want to change, so the messaging template, convert and send, we want to convert and send to user. 
to user and this expects the username, which is basically our ID. Um, the destination should be the same one as we go here. Um, basically it's this one, except we don't need the, the user part. So um, we just need the topic messages. So let's uh, paste this, so topic, private messages. And then let's go back to our controller and call not, uh, notify user and pass in the ID. Let's restart our application and then you'll see what uh, we want to achieve here. So once our application has started, um, I can clear this. Let's go to Chrome, um, refresh one user. So make it re-login basically, refresh the other one. And then if you can take a look here, you can see that we have one ID. Uh, let's copy it from here. Let's go to our postman. And this is the global one. So let's say um, this is a message for all users. We send it, then we go here. This user got it and this user got it. But now if I would go here and send a message on send a private message and then paste in the user ID that I copied and send this, you can see that um, this guy gets it because his ID we copied and this why this guy did not get it because we didn't copy his id if we would do that now if we would copy the second id now only our incognito window should get this message so we paste in the id here and send it and you can see that he got the message and this guy didn't get it so this is the previous message yeah so as you can see, it's actually quite simple to send uh, user specific messages. Same would be with some notifications that you want. You would also identify your user and then just send him a push notification. So just to him, or if you want to do a push notification to multiple users or to all of your users, you use something like this. Hopefully this was clear enough. And if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment or just send me an email and I'll try to respond as soon as possible. And yeah, that would be everything for this video and I guess I will see you in the next one.